What's happening, guys? It's Shane here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a very special guest. I got Devin to come on the channel, and he has a background as a teacher, has a background as a barista and in different customer service jobs. And he was pretty busy, but he signed up with Course Careers and got a really nice job offer within about four months or so. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the interview right now and tell his story. So Devin, thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. Um, I'm really excited to hear your story. Usually, I actually know the story before I did the interview, but your interview just posted with Troy. So I actually haven't heard your yeah. story yet. So this is going to be a real treat for me. So thank you so much for coming on the channel. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Um, you know, at the very beginning, maybe just share a little bit about your background, uh, introduce yourself a little bit and uh, kind of how you discovered tech sales in the first place. Hello, everyone. I'm Devin. And uh, so I started out, my main career was uh, customer service, you know, for about 10 years. Um, my first real job was being an orientation leader at Northern Arizona University. And it was there where I got to, you know, lead small groups, I got to do presentations. And I really got to experience like, you know, building my grit with like having 16 hour days. And then um, after that, I started my first true career, which was in specialty coffee. I did that for about eight years. And um, that was great because, you know, I got to learn an artisanal skill. I got to meet people um, from all walks of life and, you know, really just got to tell stories about where the coffee came from. Um, so that was an extremely rewarding experience. And then, um, you know, after about eight years of doing that, I knew I wanted to try something new. So I tried education. Uh, my initial goal was to become a history teacher. And uh, so I thought, you know, I'll just be a substitute teacher for a year, see how it goes. And I'm really glad I did that because I realized that education was definitely not for me. <laughs> and uh, so I was researching some different careers and um, I saw, you know, this thing called customer success. And I thought, oh, okay, like customer service, customer success, like, oh, that does kind of go hand in hand, I think. And then um, I did some interviews at some different programs. And that's when I found out about tech sales and I, you know, researched it and, you know, I luckily found a blog post where I stumbled upon course careers and um, that's where I got to do the introductory course. And then I initially, you know, I think I signed up right after I had a conversation with Troy. I see. So you were uh, a history, like you were thinking about becoming a history teacher at some point as well. Yeah. I, I really love history. That's actually my favorite subject. And so I, I feel you there for sure. But yeah, that's, that could be kind of a rough career. So, um, the the role that you landed, um, I know I'm going to ask you about it in a little bit, but was it as a BDR or did you actually land a customer uh, success manager role right away? Uh, it was as, as a BDR. Okay, got you. Yeah. And BDR, to those who haven't watched the channel, is business development representative. It is the entry level tech sales role. Um, awesome. So you discovered course careers, um, you discovered tech sales. It looked really interesting to you. You probably saw how much demand it is, what kind of results uh, Course Careers is getting. We just had somebody get a job in two weeks. Like I, I can't even make this stuff up. I mean, it's absolutely nuts how much demand there is uh, for this career. So what made you decide to, to go with Course Careers? Um, I think the, the main thing was return on investment. You know, seeing other programs out there, and I'm not going to call them out by name, but, you know, they're, you know, seeing the price tag of those things. And then also I have student loans. So I thought to myself, like, hey, I can't take on another, you know, debt that I'm already going to have to start paying, you know, <laughs> now that the payment pause is over. Um, so, yeah, the return on investment was, you know, a no brainer. And then also it was self-paced and that was super important to me because, you know, I was able to live my life and do what I had to do, you know, work full time. I got to still play music. I got to work at the studio I interned at and, you know, and then at night I was able to focus on the material. So it was really easy for me to make that decision. Gotcha. Yeah. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. Uh, I'm yeah. actually doing a video. <laughs> I'm doing a video on one of those boot camps because uh, they charge $30,000. Um, they have mm -hmm. a lawsuit against hundreds of their students and they have two different states attorney generals coming after them. So uh, interesting. Probably want to avoid that boot camp <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So this this is one of those careers where you you definitely don't need to go to like a full, you know, full stack online boot camp for this is this is a career that's, you know, an online training like course careers offers that's like super nice and flexible. 
is perfect to get into it. And like you said, it's the return on investment. Um, I don't see like there's probably no other program that has as good of a return on investment as course careers. It's like 66 X or, or, or like a probably, probably over a hundred X actually with the first job you land. Yeah. Return on investment just right away. Boom. And how long did it take you to get through the course? It took me four months. Like, you know, I think it was three and a half months of going through the actual material. And then I spent a couple of weeks doing the last project that uh, Troy implemented where, you know, you're trying to find, you know, outbound leads for the course careers. And, um, that after that, I spent a couple of weeks, um, you know, really getting my interview process down. So I like, spent a week writing out all of my interview questions and then, um, you know, really practicing doing role plays with um, people in my group because there is a group that you get to be put in, you know, with the course. After that, then I started uh, reaching out to new companies to uh, land an interview with. It. Got it. Awesome. So can you uh, just kind of go over the course material, just like a kind of a high level overview and just let us know what you thought about that? Yeah, definitely. I know what I really liked about it was that Troy started us at the basics, you know, where you learned all the sales terminology. And, you know, that way you really knew when you see these terms come up, you know, you immediately are educated like, oh, okay, that's what churn means. That's what an ideal customer profile is. You know, this is a sales process methodology. And I think, you know, he really set us up for success to go through the rest of the course. And then also the books that he had assigned to us, you know, they coincide with the material. And I really, really like that because you're able to relate what's going on in the book with the material in the course. And, you know, how to win friends and influence people. That's definitely, you know, my favorite book now. And, you know, just learning people skills and really um, understanding how to talk to people and just to be like a team player, be a more positive person. And I really, really like that the course, um, you know, teaches you people skills and asking questions and, you know, really finding people's um, problems that they're having and how you can help them. And I think that, you know, that will carry you super far as a sales development representative. You know, it's like, just how can you help someone? And I just, I really like that. And then also having a course project at the end, really being able to implement the stuff that you learned, you know, typing out your first uh, cold email and really just putting it into practice. Uh, that way, you know, when you go into the interview process, you're ready because, you know, you've done this before. So it was awesome. So how long exactly did it take you to uh, get the job? Because I know you were really busy uh, with other things mm -hmm. in your life. Um, you even went on a vacation while you were taking the course and stuff. So yeah. um, how long exactly did it take you? It took me four months. Um, you know, before I started the course, um, I got to get on the phone with Troy. You know, I asked him like, hey, can I, you know, can this be self-paced? Do I have to show up to a classroom every day, a classroom type setting? And he said, no, just, you know, it's on your own time. So that worked out perfect for me. Because, you know, three and a half months, I was able to complete all the material. And then I did the uh, final course project. And then I practiced for a couple of weeks, you know, all of my interview questions, you know, really preparing for that, doing mock interviews, um, really trying to formulate my why, because I think that's also super important when you're going through something like this is to have like, you know, why am I getting into sales? Like, you know, why do I want to work for this company? I think those are important things to establish. And well, you know, when all that was said and done, it was, yeah, about four, four months and some change. Got it. And, you know, four months is phenomenal. Like that is phenomenal for like any other career out there. Right. Mm -hmm. But some people might be watching this and they're like, oh, four months for tech sales. <laughs> right. But yeah. no, four months is phenomenal, guys. Like, like to, to go from no experience uh, in sales uh, or, t or tech sales to uh, landing a full-time job in four months like that is that is incredible and you know tech sales is, there's just so many opportunities for upward uh, growth and, and like horizontal growth and like yeah it's it's uh it's incredible to be able to start in a career that just has so many opportunities and so many different lanes that you can go down uh, in four mm -hmm. months. So, um, kind of let me know like your quality of life, your job satisfaction before when you were working in those different jobs you talked about versus, yeah. uh, your quality of life and job satisfaction now, uh, working as a BDR. Yeah. Um, so being a barista for eight years, there was always insecurity and insecurity was with money specifically. 
Um, you know, the reason I stayed in that career for so long is because I was able to, you know, go on tour with my band and, you know, I was able to do like all the stuff I wanted to do when I was in high school, you know? <laughs> so after I graduated <laughs> college, I kind of like relived my childhood in a way, but at the end of the day, I mean, it was my quality of life was, you know, me always looking at my bank account and, you know, my poor wife having to you know, go through that with me. <laughs> and, you know, and she stuck by me, which was amazing. And um, so, you know, a lot of insecurity with money and then, you know, being a substance teacher, you know, you think like, oh, cool, like I'll make a little bit more money. But then, you know, there's always, you know, the I had to, you know, be off for like two and a half weeks because of, you know, I was sick with COVID and then mm -hmm. kids were also getting me like sinus infections and then you're off all the time because of that. So I think like, it got really difficult, you know, being in a classroom setting because it's like, you know, you're constantly in the fear of like getting sick and then um, you get paid once a month and that's really hard. Like you think it's awesome. You know, you're like, oh, cool. I'll get my paycheck all at once, but then you have to budget the rest of the month. So I yeah. think that was difficult. Now it's like, I, you know, I got my first paycheck the other day and it was just, you know, it was an incredible feeling because it's like, oh, wow, like this is going to be like every two weeks. And then when I'm fully ramped, I'll actually have commission on top of this. So there, there'll be like three paychecks a month and I get to work from home. Like I have a home office here and my company set me up with that. Like I, it's just going from being in a place where a lot of times, you know, you're not really appreciated for what you do. And, you know, you work extra hard, you give amazing customer service. And, you know, you put all that work in and you don't get compensated for that. Whereas mm -hmm. you in tech sales, you work extra hard, you prospect, you put in that extra work. And then, you know, at one point in the month, you get rewarded for that in commission. So I think my quality of life is so much better now. I don't have to commute because I live in the Los Angeles area and traffic here is awful. So, okay. And I hate it. You know, I used to love driving and now I hate driving. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just saved yourself two or three hours a day with that remote job. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and, and talk about what everybody wants to hear, if you don't <laughs> mind, which yeah, is... <laughs> the original salary. So I, I know that uh, in tech sales, it's called on target earnings. So typically, mm -hmm. you know, you have like a base pay, and then you have your on target earnings, which is what they expect you to hit if you if you uh, get a certain amount of leads and prospects and that sort of thing. So um, if you don't mind sharing, you can talk about just generally speaking, what uh, entry level position would pay or you can tell me uh, what your position pays. Yeah. Um... So at my company specifically, I remember going through the interview process and them asking me like, oh, what's your salary expectation? And, you know, everything I just told you, I told them, I don't care. I just want to learn, you know, like I, I of course I want to get paid, but I want to be able to grow and learn. And I think, you know, when they told me it was, you know, it's, it's around 50,000 for the base pay. So I already doubled my salary for my whole lifetime. <laughs> and then for on target earnings, um, that brings you up to around 70,000. Wow, that is great. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I, I've interviewed people like one year in, two years in, three years in, mm -hmm. four years in, five years in now on the channel. So if you want to kind of see what you can expect a few years down the line, you can just watch some of the interviews on the on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, we just interviewed Antoine. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber from the channel Black Heights. And uh, I mean, he's in year five and he he hit over 500K. So I'm curious, actually, I forgot to ask this, Devin, um, mm -hmm. when you were when you first discovered course careers, did you watch the uh, free training that Troy offers? Yes, I uh, signed up for that. And, um, you know, he gave an amazing background of what, you know, tech sales is and how to, you know, there's not really a huge barrier of entry. And um, also, I think another great thing about course careers is that offering the you know, the different payment methods, you could pay in full, or you can, you know, break it up, which was really good for me. So I think really having that solid, you know, breakdown of what tech sales is. And, um, you know, it shows you that you can do this if you work hard. Because I think that at the end of the day, it is on you to learn, you know, the material and to really understand, you know, why you're getting into this. And I think that's important. So, you know, my advice for anybody, you know, that's on the fence about it, really put the work in and really, 
learn the material. So, you know, if you're on the fence about it, you know, you're thinking, oh, it's kind of expensive. And like, I don't know if I can do this. You can totally do this. And, you know, I think that um, you putting the work in and you practicing, that's going to take you a long way. Got it. Yeah. And just to clarify um, to everybody, uh, because I do get comments about this sometimes, um, Mm -hmm. there's a free training that Troy offers. Uh, It basically Mm -hmm. is going to help you to decide whether tech sales is for you or not. Kind of talks about tech sales as a career, the different uh, sub careers you can go into and all that sort of thing. Really great information, honestly. And there are people that literally like they haven't even signed up with the program, but they they tell Troy that they, after watching the free training that they were able to kind of figure it out on their own and get a job. Probably took them a lot longer, but Troy does get emails like that. So it it, it is a good free training. I took it myself. It was super useful. Um, if you decide to use uh, the course careers as a service, um, of course, it's a business. They, they have to make money. But essentially what they're going to do is they're going to train you up and then they are going to get you guaranteed interviews with companies. So right now, I think Course Careers has like 10 to 12, probably more than that by now. Troy's signing companies up left and right, uh, partner companies that where they they actually offer guaranteed interviews. Right. And that is that's pretty rare. Like you don't you don't usually see that. Uh, If you want to check out the free training, I will put that down in the description below. Um, as well as the pen comment. And if you choose to use Course Careers as a service, I do have a $50 off coupon. It is Shane50. So Course Careers costs $500 and the $50 off coupon should bring it down to $450. Cost $500 right now. I, I don't know if it's going to continue <laughs> doing that because honestly, that is just an absolute steal uh, of a price for the, the results they're mm-hmm. getting. Um, and then I, I do want to ask you, because this just popped into my head, Devin. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, because I get comments about this. Are you being paid to do this interview? (laughs) Oh, not at all. You know, that's always, that's what, that was my initial, um, my drawback from the course. Like, I don't know, it it just does seems too good to be true. You know, like I thought to myself, like, this has to be a scam, you know, because this, this other program's charging, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. And then this program's only charging 500. And then like people are getting interviews. Like, I don't know. It just seems like too good to be true. And then, you know, now I'm here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like we were talking about there's there's that boot camp that's charging like thirty thousand dollars. And their mm-hmm. students, they're they're not there's it's it's amazing because like Troy's course, course careers charges five hundred dollars and he gets better results than boot camps that charge thirty thousand dollars. It's uh, what? It's it's a it's incredible. So um, and I think the reason is, is because they sign those ISAs, the income share agreements. And then yep. a lot of people don't even want to get a job because they're like, I don't want to have to pay, you know, 12.5% of my income for 48, for four years. Right. Like that sounds, yeah. that's ridiculous. They don't want to have to do that. Um, so yeah, but uh, good talk. Uh, good talk. Thanks yep. so much for coming on the channel, Devin. Appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your story. Uh, congratulations on, on landing the job. Um, we're honestly getting so many people landing jobs at this point that like I can't I can't even interview like one tenth of the people. Um, but uh, you you had a really cool story, so Troy uh, sent you over to me. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for coming on the channel, sharing your story. Really appreciate it. Of course, thank you for having me.